Hey guys, what's going on? Are you an RGB fan? Join me in another episode and let's take a quick review of the Segatep M.2 Heat Sink. If you want to bring more lights onto your PC's motherboard, this product is for you. So join me and let's set it up. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here it is. Here's the Segotep um, M2 SSD kit sink. Right? The, um, I got this from China, so I ordered it online. And as you can see, most of the parts of its labels are in Chinese. So I'll try to use Google Lens to some and give you a screenshot of the translation of this characters. Right, so let's open it up. Okay. Just a quick um, tour of what in what uh, the product includes. So here, obviously, here's the aluminum uh, alloy heat heat sheet, and it also includes two thermal paste or high performance thermal sil silicon sheet and two screws for the stainless steel sheet so of course this one is the actual m.2 ssd card which is which is not included of course so it's just an illustration to show you how you would um, set this up all right is a 5 volt um, ARGB and here's the dimension of the product itself you see here it includes a 3 pin um, ARGB connector what's good about this is you can extend or connect an extended um, LED so by just removing this part here, there. So you can plug in if you have two of this of these. You can plug them in here. Okay. So here is the thermal silicon sheet. The longer one comes on the top of the SSD, and then the shorter one is at the bottom. and basically that's it so i'll show you how i would um, set it up right and let's do that all right guys so i have currently removed the ssd m.2 ssd on my motherboard and originally this is the hit thing that came with it i will be replacing it with this to have, well, actually just to have an RGB on it, right? So, this is what my kit single king with my motherboard looks like. I'm going to remove the card itself. Right. So that is the silicon sheet came with the hit sink. So let's start installing it here, right? Right. So I haven't removed the plastic yet. Right. So I've given some space for the scoop. 
Let's have let's put this in. So we move first the plastic. Now screw it in. So here it is. So let's um, test the RGB light. So I have prepared my um, alternative RGB for three pin connectors. Okay, so it seems working, so I'll show you, I'll set this up and install it back on my motherboard and I'll show you how it looks. Aside from keeping your SSD cool, it also brings the aesthetics. Overall, it's simple and easy to install. So to know more about the product, you can click on the link in the description below. And don't forget to click like and share and subscribe. So that's it for now. See you next time. And thanks for watching.